What's up fam, Extraordinary Life with Elijah. And I don't know how it is that I always wind up in the crawl space of buildings, but I, I just think they're so cool. It's the industrialism, all of the systems of a building mostly run under a building and the foundations down here is just something that I think is cool about being in the crawl space of buildings. This week, I'm actually tackling the second part in a series that you've watched the first series a long time ago, probably about three and a half years ago, but this is part two in a two-part series. So you're probably gonna wanna go back and watch part one, but in this one, it has a super high capacity of being offensive to you. When I use words, I use them very intentionally. By now, we have enough relationship to know that when I engage words and I use them, I, I do it very purposefully. So with that in mind, and lots of relationship under a belt, I have a little bit of a confession to make to you. I am an asshole. <laughs> I don't know if you're quite ready for that yet, but when I engage the body of Christ, I love engaging the aspect of the, the natural biological systems that God has created and the spiritual realities that stem out of considering how our bodies work and function healthily. I don't know if Paul was wiser than me in just referring to the parts of the body as being those that require special attention, but I just go for it. I love thinking about the body of Christ having a butthole and a penis, a vagina, a reproductive tract, boobs, nostrils, mouths, teeth, tonsils, pancreases, pancreae? What is the plural for pancreas? Somebody tell me down in the comments. I don't know. But I love being able to think about the body and then look at all the specific spiritual lessons that can be learned by engaging how do all of those body parts work and what can we learn from them? Here a number of years ago, I, I found out that I had a cute case of hemorrhoids. I don't even know if that's the proper way you say that either. But out of that process and talking to doctors, I learned a whole lot about buttholes. Did you know that your body knows when to fart and when not to? when poopy is gonna come out and when it's gonna be dry and all in the clear based on very intelligent structures placed in your anal cavity. You probably didn't know that. So long story short, your butthole actually has an intelligence and knows when to let out solids, when to hold it in, and when you can actually pass gas. Now the cool part about this is arranging that then in a lesson to understand the body of Christ. It's really hard to get noses in your olfactory sense to play nicely with your buttholes. As a result of many of the gifts that God has given me, hopefully that's not too loud in audio. Lots of dripping and rushing noises. It's what you get when you're in crawl spaces. But as the specific gifts that God has given me, the unique gifts that he has granted me to speak prophetically into life and my subject material of being sex, intimacy, bodily functions, messy relational contexts, very often, people in the body consider me to be a stinky butthole. <laughs> As a result of everything that I produce, that lots of times people tell me that I'm full of crap, my ideas stink, that all I produce is just poop. I won't use the another word, you get the idea. I hear those as compliments when you're a butthole in the body, when people tell you that you're full of poop, that you stink and you do crap right, that sounds like a compliment to me. However, over time, it becomes very confusing when people say those things and then they cut you out of the body. Now granted, it's, it takes grace, it takes understanding for noses and buttholes to get together and bless one another. The things that the body part of the butthole produces that helps to keep the body very healthy is very offensive to the nose, also to the ears. Mm sometimes even the eyes and the sense of taste. You know you've been there. But here's the thing, if you don't poop for three days, that you get all impacted, you're not moving anything through, you're gonna start going septic really quick. If you don't defecate and move what's going into your body, out of your body, you'll die. The hard part is though, for leadership to understand that buttholes play a very vital role within the body. The 
thinking usually goes, everybody starts saying, man, that asshole is super offensive. He, everything he does stinks. He's just full of crap. He just creates all kinds of embarrassments and nastiness. We hate having around. Cut the asshole out of the body. Everybody jumps on board, sounds like a really great idea. They cut out that sphincter, throw it in the trash, sew that thing up, and bada boom, bada beam, whew, most smell good body you've ever seen. No mess, no fuss, everything is good with us. Except all of a sudden the body starts getting super, super unhealthy. You gotta cut in a colostomy bag and then you're pooping out your side. You got this bag of poop hanging on your side and so you create designer bags that are all patagoochied up so that it doesn't look nasty with a big bag of poop hanging on your side and there's all these strange sounds so you start making like colostomy bag poop mufflers to help keep the body all nice and healthy except God created created a really awesome system called buttholes to keep you healthy. <laughs> what in the world are we gonna pull out for an application today? I'm willing to bet that out there in the body, there are other people who feel like abused buttholes. Now, I'm not using this in the pejorative sense. You might be a jerk. You might have serious character issues and you need to work on that. Now that is something entirely different than what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the anus that is in your body right now that you're either sitting on or is tucked in the middle of your butt crack. That thing is super healthy. God made it and I bless it in you. It's perfectly good and it's a welcome part of your body. If it wasn't there, you'd probably be on the fast track to being dead. So I'm not talking about people who just have character issues and are just acting out and need some serious discipline. I'm talking about people in the body who have unique roles to serve, who are repetitively abused because of a lack of grace by the rest of the body. So all y'all buttholes out there in the body of Christ, you know who you are. It's really tough to be that body part. On the other side though, if you're a nose out there, the nose knows, man, there's some smelly things going on down below that I ain't liking. It doesn't smell like roses. That is not poo pari. That's just straight up stanky. I know you're out there too, and my heart resonates with you. Stinky messes are no fun. But here's here's the thing. Here's the invitation. This is what I've learned over my years of being an asshole in the body. It's really hard to stay compassionate, to stay connected to the rest of the body when you just repetitively get cut out of bodies and thrown to the street. It is just no fun, it hurts. And all you want to do as a part of the body is serve the rest of the body, do a good job, do what I've been created to do. But in the process of doing that, it winds up making a lot of other people uncomfortable. For all of you other body parts out there that are resonating with what I'm saying, one thing I've also learned is that I can be just a stinker. See what I did there? Yeah, a stinker. And there's those elements in serving the body in the part and the role that I've been called to play where I need to be sanctified, that I'm either angsty or I, like making people feel uncomfortable and awkward because it's a way that I can help control people. There's those elements of giftings in those areas that, that require specific and gentle treatment, that, that require special modesty, that have a very unique and hidden role. You don't rock the body part of the anus off the main stage very often. And if you do, it's usually in times when there is some deep sickness or in my case, some serious hemorrhoids that need to be addressed. If that's your role in the body, that you're serving the body well in an area that is inglorious, that it's, it's not something that's gonna be on the main stage, you're the butthole of the body, realize that you have a specific role to play and that you need to extend grace to the rest of the body when they say that what you do is stinky and you're full of crap and nothing you produce is lovely or beautiful or praiseworthy. On the other side though, if you're a part of the body that you're the nose, you're the eyes, or you're the ears, or you're the hand, realize that even though 
There's those parts in the body that seem disgusting to you, that they're just offensive, they're so strange. How could that actually be helping the body? I think that's of hell. We need to rebuke that thing and get it out of the body. Yeah, I get that, but ask God for grace, for insight, and for wisdom such that when you smell the stinky stank, that's coming up from the porcelain tank you're sitting on, that you could use the gift of smell, the olfactory senses of the body, and smell and worship God and thank Him for His great wisdom in the health and the life and the structures that He's placed within the body for thriving, for strength, for health, and for beauty. I hope. I hope this is resonating with you. Oh man, I'm just rooting and tooting like crazy today. Like this is my happy space. I just, oh, I could talk in circles about this concept all day long. But hopefully you, my family, you, my fellow parts in the body, my hope is that grace could be imparted to you to know our Father more and that you would have eyes and ears and heart to understand what God is doing in the body. That your ears would be awakened to hear foreign languages of other body parts being spoken and that you would have a deep and abiding appreciation for how they serve you. If you subscribe to what I am doing, hit the button. Hit it and then get it. Hit the bell as well so you get notified with the new content, with the new content. And if you love this video, you didn't just like it, hit the thumbs down button. I pray blessings on our lives together as a body. Mm. <laughs> I love you guys lots. And I will see you in the next video. Oh man, I have entire volumes, pages and pages written on buttholes and lots of asshole jokes, tons, double entendres. Oh, just drives me crazy. If you wanna hear more, contact me and I will tell you all of the butthole insights that I know. Love it. Next video. Caught myself off guard on that one. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. God give me grace to live my body part well. What's up, fam? Extraordinary life with Elijah. And my little girl Azriella gives me so many awesome insights into the heart and mind of our father.